has this ever happened to you one day you watch something you read something you hear something and suddenly you get very motivated to finally lose that weight to finally be able to see your toes when you look down so you set up your alarm and actually do get up to go for a walk good then you do it for a second day a third and shockingly you continue that for a week ek baar maine commitment kar di to fir main apne aap ko nahi sunta now you did it for a week right come on now you deserve a break of just one day don't you but the next day uh, you have a hard time getting up the next day you just don't get up the next day you have some work to do after a month has passed you surprisingly find out that you weigh more today than you did a month back so tell me my friend what happened here what went so wrong where did all that motivation disappear where did all that determination go well motivation is like that small spark it just gets you moving but what keeps you moving after that that requires fuel that requires discipline pouring sweaty stale discipline the best example of this has to be the wall rahul dravid if you remember at the start of his career he was simply known as a test cricketer nothing more despite having top notch performances under his belt he couldn't get into the odi team everybody was of the consensus he is too much of a pure batsman an orthodox batsman can never make the cut in the faster format and it all came to head when one selector actually came and told him that he should practice on his off spin bowling in short at the same time your batting is not good enough and too much good at the same time to play in the odi team irony and even so dravid had a choice either leave either learn bowling or be okay with never playing in odis well dravid chose the third option he doubled down on being a pure batsman and banked on that to get into the odi team he knew that he had no chance of getting into the odi team as it is and given the fact that the next world cup in 1999 was to be played in england rahul went to england and started playing county level cricket an acclaimed capped indian team member with over 2000 runs under his belt was playing in junior leagues just for a chance to improve his odi game for a 25 year old to be away from his family away from his loved ones after being dejected by repeated disappointments this was not going to be easy so rahul built himself a process each day irrespective of the season irrespective of the need even irrespective of whether there was official training or not he would get up at 5 go to his training ground and practice one single stroke each time visualizing playing that shot in an actual match then came net practice which was treated as an actual match by him any nick behind the stumps was out miss time shot out even a single run out all that mattered was playing that one shot perfectly and this he repeated day after day for a year This didn't require talent my friend nor did it require motivation all that was needed was sweaty pouring planned discipline one year later on account of his performance he was actually picked up for the 1999 Indian World Cup side the Rahul Dravid playing alongside Azizuddin Sachin Tendulkar and Saurav Ganguly went on to score two centuries and three half centuries the highest in that world cup 61 runs ahead of the next best stevo and that too despite getting knocked off in the group stages itself playing two matches less than everybody else this 
is discipline discipline doesn't shine in the limelight it toils in the shadows unseen unnoticed discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you want and finally finally you will never ever be always motivated but you can always be disciplined motivation is a luck discipline though discipline is choice thank you for watching this video if you like this video kindly like share and subscribe thank you for watching